Cancer. Welcome to my channel. I am the Soul Teacher and I'm here today to do your um, full moon in Aries reading which is happening on the 20th of October. Now full moons are all about the ending of a cycle. It's about releasing the things and the energies that does not serve us any longer um, and it's time to get our manifestations to fruition. So the the strongest energetic influence for you during this time, wow, is Uranus. Now, Uranus is the guy, he's the rebel of the zodiac. Uranus is the guy that um, that stops and looks at the things around him and says, I don't like the system anymore. It doesn't serve me. I want to change it and make it better. Uranus is all about new technology. It's about um, doing things in a new way, in a better way. And it's also about pushing you forward, um, forcing you to look at the things that doesn't serve you any longer. And with the full moon in Aries, and this is the energy that influences you the strongest, Cancer, this might, this might be quite a, a hectic time for you, um, meaning that Aries is ruled by Mars, which is the divine masculine, that action energy. And Aries has got lots of stamina. Aries never stops. Aries just goes, goes, goes and fights for everything that, that they want. Um, so I feel here that Cancer, you as the intuitive, soft, emotional um, sign, the water sign might feel quite challenged with this energy. Be very careful that, that this Aries and Uranus energy doesn't push you to do something impulsive because that's the flip side of the coin. It's great to be to be to, to get that little push, you know, to to get the foot in your behind and say it's time to go, Cancer, but it can be quite daunting because um this is a very um it's already a very impulsive energy. So if you that doesn't really like change very much if you get to be with this energy, it might make you feel very uncomfortable. But the strongest energy around you is dance with life. Do something to change your energy. This is really cool, Cancer, because if you dance and you change your energy, it would mean that you would keep your energy flowing, which would help to not do that very impulsive thing, to instead change your energy around it and do things um, a little bit more mindfully and aware. That's very cool. So, Cancer, um, getting into your reading, I'd just like to make a few announcements, please. I have made a few changes to my website. Um, if you would take the time to just click on the link down below, I now do Twin Flame readings and I also do Lover's Compatibility readings um, astrologically to see if you and your partner really is compatible um, and maybe to understand your partner better and let your partner understand you better. I also started a new YouTube channel with obviously free readings called Twin Flame Teachings. So if you feel inclined to do so, I would love to see you there as well. So Cancer, let's get into your reading and see what it's all about. What cycle are you ending, Cancer? Nothing will come of this situation. So, this cycle that you're ending with this full moon in Aries is the one of worry. You're not worried about so many things anymore. Um, also, this might be also a little bit of a difficult energy because when... Being Cancer, you do worry about things not working out and you have a plan B, C, D, up to Z so that you can make sure that something would work out in your life. And this worry keeps you safe in a way. But now that you have ended the cycle, be aware that with the energies that is surrounding you right now, impulse, impulsive decisions might have you in a bit of hot water. So please be aware of that. It's very important for you, Cancer. You have it from, from both sides. You have it from Uranus and you have it from Aries, which is which is quite a hectic energy. Um, what do you still need to work on to finally release? Okay, so obviously you've been hoping for change and hoping for change and hoping for change. But when you when you are in the energy 
of you just waiting for the change to happen. You will wait forever. You need to get out of that waiting energy. And this is what you need to finally release. Is you need to release that energy of I'm waiting for the change to happen. If you wait, you will keep waiting. It's never the right time. Now is the right time, always. So Cancer, whatever it is that you are working on or are thinking about, this is the time where you must realize you're not going to wait for this change to happen anymore. This change is happening and that will magnetize it into your life. Um, are you still on the right path for your manifestation to come to fruition? You and your loved ones are safe. Once you let go of this worry that you can now let go of, you will realize that you and your loved ones are safe. And the moment when you do that and you allow this change to actually enter your life, everything will work out perfectly because you and your loved ones are safe. The universe has got your back. The universe will never let you go. You are never alone. You are always supported. Your advice, Cancer, you're very close to achieving your goal. You only need to release this stuff and allow this change to actually happen in your life. Then you're there, Cancer. Then you've achieved your goal. And then you can start working on your next one. Wow, Cancer, this is a beautiful reading. Um, if ever you, you needed a kick in the butt um, or wanted a kick in the butt, <laughs> this is happening for you right now. Cancer, I hope you have a beautiful full moon period and I'll see you on the flip side.